Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is kind of a different video, but I wanted to do a declutter. Declutters are some of my favorite videos to watch. Um, I watch them so much. I think that they are so fun to fun to just kind of see, you know, what are people getting rid of and how are people organizing? And I've done a couple like organization videos and whatnot. So I'll link those all down below for you as well as my makeup collection. I want to declutter and this is not going to be like a super hardcore, you know, getting rid of 50 lipsticks, only keeping five. Like that's not what I'm going to do to be quite honest, but I do want to get rid of a few things and I thought it'd be really fun to just um, go through them together and just film it because I like watching them. So why not film it? Oh my goodness, this is not gonna be hardcore. I see people like comment on declutters, you didn't get rid of anything and um, that may be similar. I may only be getting rid of a handful of things, but keep in mind I love makeup and that's what I like doing and there's no shame in it. Everybody likes their own thing. But there are things that need to be thrown out because they're old or just given to somebody else who will use them more. My camera is so heavy, <laughs> it's hard to like hold it up. But I will be going through all of these. Dun, 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 and we're gonna be doing all of that. So, and my palettes. Yes, palettes too. Um, I don't know how much, I did just did a palette declutter like two months ago and I got rid of a handful of them. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna get rid of here. It may only be a few, but don't hate because of it, is what I'm say trying to say. Yeah, but if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload five days a week, Monday through Friday, and I'd love to have you come join because we are doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers and we are almost to 300, so that is crazy, so thank you so much. Okay, how do vloggers do it? I don't know how they do it because I feel like I'd be low-key kind of embarrassed to just be like, hello everyone, but I mean, if that's your job, do it. So, yeah, cue the montages. Hi, buddy. Hi. He thinks my microphone is a toy. No. <laughs> You're so sweet. So, Rascal, um, this is our puppy. No, come on. Behave, buddy. But he is has very short legs, as you can tell. He loves wearing bandanas. He gets sad when he cannot wear one. He got a DNA test, uh, and he is uh, American Staffordshire, which is a kind of, which is a type of pit bull. <laughs> and he is part Shih Tzu and Bichon Frise and bulldog so he's a very interesting mix he just looks like a big pit bull with short legs so there you go yeah we adapted him in june and he is very sweet and he's most of the time a good dog some of the times mm, maybe not as much <laughs> but no he's a very sweet dog overall he's very nice mm -hmm. he's my puppy can I have a kiss? You can see that hole in our blind. Rascal broke through that. And now we don't even bother opening the blind anymore for him to look out because he barks at everybody. So if you hear in videos that he's barking or whatever, probably looking out that window. Look at, there he goes. <laughs> That's where he sits all day, every day. <laughs> This is my life every day. Okay, so these are the products that I decided to keep right here. I Like I said, it's not gonna be like a huge declutter but there are stuff that I definitely want to try more of like these makeup revolution primers there are stuff that I also just want to use more like the dermacold that's really nice um, I have a lush pr like face primer that I'd really like to try and then just powders other primers concealers whatever um, what I'm not keeping some of this stuff is old 
some of this I don't use, some of it's too dark, too light, or that I'm just never going to use. So this first one is the Do You Full Coverage from Too Faced. This was a great foundation in its time, but it is expired. It just didn't it just felt like it didn't sink into my skin. It mainly just kind of sat on top, and I just did not like that. Um, this was way too dark for me. This, I have the a little bit lighter shade, but this is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. Great concealer, way too dark for me. This, I did a review on. I'll link it down below. It's the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvet Matte Foundation. Oh my goodness, this was uh, not fun. I did not enjoy this. I think that this just sits on top of the skin, does not blend in. I think I'm gonna give it to one of my friends. This is the NYX Hydra Touch Primer. I used to be in love with this if you follow me way back in the day, but this primer unfortunately is um, expired. This is a great primer, the Smashbox Photo Finish Original, oh my goodness, but unfortunately again, this is expired and I don't wanna put that on my face. This is a mini of the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder like such an OG favorite. Um, I have enough loose powders and I don't need it so this one is going to a friend. I have a couple products that I'm on the fence about just because um, I don't know if I'm going to use them. Like stuff, this was in my February BoxyCharm. It's the Tarte Base Tape Hydrating Primer. I think I may keep this around just to put on my cheeks and stuff because my cheeks are more dry. Mm, yeah, I think I am. And I also want to try it out a bit more is the Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. This is like not an oil though. Like I tried it in a BoxyCharm. I haven't tried it too much. Um, it doesn't feel greasy or oily. It just kind of feels like a serum primer. So I think I'm, mm, I'm going to give this another shot. I know that sounds really lame to just keep it, but I'm I just want to try it out a bit more. Morphe Foundation. This is something I probably won't repurchase. I made a review video about it when it first came out. I'll link that down below. Um, I think I am going to just use it up because I don't have too much left, but I don't think I'm going to like go out and repurchase it. This is the Makeup Revolution Stick Foundation. I also did a video on this that'll be linked down below. I don't know, like it has great coverage. If you can see that, but it made me very greasy throughout the day. I kind of want to give this one a shot too, just because I think I only wore it once or twice unfortunately. This is a great cushion foundation. This is the Wet n Wild cushion foundation. Oh my goodness. Amazing. Seriously. Seriously amazing. I have much left of this either. I might just use it up because I've had it for like probably six months. This. I don't, I've never tried this on my face, but this is the Touch and Soul No Pore Blum. What is this? Priming eraser? It's like a stick. That when you open it up, literally the no pore blum primer in a stick form. So I might give this a shot. I don't know. I just, this has just been kind of sitting in the back of my drawer, not doing much. Has a sponge. I tried blending it out one time. I wasn't a fan of the results of just using the sponge. So I think I'm gonna maybe give give it a go, see what happens. And yeah, but next we're gonna go through some blush and bronzer. So these are the palettes I'm going to keep. Either some of these, like I just haven't used much, like I have this contour palette from Makeup Revolution. I got this in a free gift with purchase at Ulta. I have swatched it, I've never put it on my face, I don't think, so I'm definitely going to try that out. Some of these things I just use and love, so I'm definitely going to keep those. I do have four that I am getting rid of. Um, first off is the Wander Beauty Wanderous Dusk to Dawn Trio. This is something I got in a BoxyCharm. Quite frankly, if you see really up close, they're very shimmery and just, they're not my speed, so I am going to get rid of this. I have a Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette in Sugar and Spice. I just, I barely touched it. I'm not into it, so we're going to pass on that and give it to somebody who would use it. This um, is the Naked Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter. The pans are like probably about to fall out. Just don't use it much anymore, so I'm going to get rid of it. Last but not least, the Benefit Cheek Parade Palette. This is super great, but I don't use it, and so I want to give it to somebody who is going to use it more than I am. All 
right, so I went through my single blushes and bronzers and smaller palettes. Larger palettes are going were the last clip and then the next clip. I have determined that I want to keep all these, but these are ones I gotta get rid of. No hate, okay? No hate. Because I I do a I do declutter quite often, but these are the things I'm definitely getting rid of. First off is the It Bye Bye Pores Bronzer. It's very nice. I just don't use it, so that's gonna go away. The Note Cosmetics Luminous Silk Compact Blush. Got this in a boxy charm. Not the biggest fan of it. Gonna give it to somebody else. This is the Too Faced Love Flush Blush. It's just not for me. Then I have a mini Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Blissful. I have a whole palette full of these and I just thought, might as well get rid of it, right? So we're gonna organize these back up and go on to more blush and more highlighter palettes, highlighter and blush palettes kind of thing. I'm also getting rid of this ambient lighting blush from um, Hourglass in the shade Dim Infusion. This just does not work out for me. I have a friend who would definitely like this. Second thought, I'm gonna get rid of this palette. This is a Wander Beauty Trip for Two blush and bronzer duo. That is not a bronzer in my eyes. Yeah, I just did a big declutter of these, so I don't know how ma many of these palettes I'm gonna be getting rid of. So these are the palettes I'm gonna keep. This one I'm truly unsure of. It's the Revolution Shook highlighter palette. Looks like this. I don't, I'm just kind of torn. I don't know. It's super pretty, but no. So I'm gonna think about it and come back to it. I am for sure getting rid of these two. This is the Naked Cosmetics Holographic Highlighter Collection. Just don't use it. And then this I got in a BoxyCharm. So upset about this because they sent me the medium deep one instead of the light to medium one. But this is the Perfector Face Palette. Literally just barely touched it once, but not gonna be with that, so I'm gonna give that away. So these are the products that I am keeping and then these are the products that I am getting rid of so I have one that I am just so uh, I'm just kind of unsure about it's the Smashbox spotlight palette in pearl this is a very loved product of mine I think I might just hang on to it but these are the products that I am for sure getting rid of first of is this I heart revolution chocolate elixir glow this is not for me. I just did not like this. I thought it was kind of powdery. And then this, like I swatch it and like nothing comes off. So no thank you. Um, I also have this Catrice 3D Glow Highlighter in shade Pinch of Rose. Uh, I just don't use this. So no. A couple of Maybelline Master Chromes. These are just old flat out and I'm not going to use them anymore. This one's like super crushed and then this one is just not going to work out for my skin tone so I'm going to get rid of these. I have this Becca Rose Gold highlighter in a pa in the Chrissy Teigen palette so I am going to get rid of this. This is going to go to a friend. This is the Natasha Denona Gl All Over Glow Face and Body Shimmer. Um, I just I just cannot see myself using this. I got this from BoxyCharm but I'm just gonna get rid of it. I have a couple liquid highlighters that I am just not going to use anymore so they're gonna go to a better place. This highlighter from Becca, this is just plain old and expired. It's a mini opal. I have a full-size opal and I love that so this is gonna go bye-bye. This is just an older shimmering skin perfector liquid. Um, I don't even think this is good anymore so. Then this I also got in a boxy charm. It's the Ciate London Confetti Highlighter. This I don't know. I just, it's a, it's just too dark for me. It just doesn't look right. So I'm going to give that away. I actually 
go through quite often um, just because they're liquid products and I just make sure that they're still okay and everything and um, this is just something that I just pay really close attention to. I did go through these not too long ago so I am going to keep all these. These are the ones I'm going to get rid of. These two Stila ones are flat up dried out and not going to do it for me. These Wet n Wild Cream Shadows, they are just not... I just don't think they're the best quality. This is kind of streaky. And then I already have some like this. And yeah, this is these are old. So these need to not be in my collection anymore. I also just wasn't a big fan of the liquid cat suits in general. I would go for something like BH Cosmetics Eyelights. Something like that instead. These Tarte glitter liners are just old. So I'm going to be getting rid of those as well. <laughs> shadows I mean I have like a couple of these in here liners brow stuff mascaras this is all the stuff I'm gonna keep this is the stuff I'm gonna get rid of this is the wet n wild fire eyeshadow palette I just I just don't use it and I feel like it'd be better off in a home where it's gonna get used this is flat out old it's the elf studio brow powder this is great I don't use the pomade but this powder is phenomenal um but this is just old so I think I'm gonna just get a new one these two like moussey like shadows this one is from um J Cat, I think right yes J Cat. this one's from J Cat, and then this one is from Makeup Revolution these two are just dried out um they didn't last that long I didn't even have them a year so and then the Makeup Revolution one came with an intensifying primer. So these are going to go bye bye This eyeliner from Ulta Beauty, just old. I have this Billion Dollar Brows Brow Duo Pencil Concealer and Highlighter. I got this in a boxy charm. I just, even the highlighter is too dark for me. So we're just going to say no to that. This is a Morphe Brow Highlighter Stick. Not going to use it. Um, I just... Just not for me. So I have a Nude Sticks Magnetic Luminous Color. I'm gonna get rid of that and then I just have like a mini Ulta brow tint. I'm gonna get rid of that. I also have the Billion Dollar Brows Universal Brow Pencil. This is way too dark for me. I tried it on in my BoxyCharm and no. So well, <laughs> gonna be getting rid of that as well. I'm just gonna get rid of the Smashbox always on gel liner. This just is old. I did just let you know in the beginning of the video, of course, that I did go through my eyeshadow palettes in particular. Um, I'm going to keep all these, the ones I'm going to get rid of. These are a couple of Smashbox cover shot palettes. I just don't use them anymore. This is the Golden Hour one. Very pretty, just not for me. And then this one is the Ablaze one. So I also have the Tarte Tartlet Flirt. Again, not going to use it. And then the Morphe 9C. This is a nice palette. I got it in gratis at Ulta. I have shadows like it, so I'm going to give it to a friend. So these are the pot lip liquid lipsticks and lip liners that I am keeping. These are the ones that I am just getting rid of. This Steve Laurent li um, lip liner. Flat out kind of sucks. This Anastasia liquid lipstick. Old. Some of these Smashbox liquid lips are dried out. Old. Used and abused. Kat Von D ones. Not going to use. So I'm going to give them. Uh, I think I'm just going to get rid of them. 
This is just dried out. It's a NYX soft matte lip cream. This Smith & Cult liquid lipstick. I just don't use it. YSL Tuage Couture Matte Lip Stain. No, I don't like it. This Sephora Mini Old. This is old. It's from Too Faced. And then this is just not my color. It's a very dark purple color. So not for me. Alright, so these are all the lip glosses I am getting rid of. A lot of these are just a plain old and just can't use them anymore. This, the, Inst uh, the Instamat Lipstick Transformer from Smashbox, I have a mini size of this. I don't use that, so I, I don't really know what I'm going to do with this because it's not necessarily old. Yeah, maybe I'll give it to a friend or... I don't know. Like the Sephora gloss is old. I have some Huda glosses. Old. This MAC. What is this? Grand Illusion liquid lip color lip gloss. It's a gloss really but this needs to go. It's old. This Lime Crime wet cherry gloss. I've never, I was never really a huge fan of the scent and just not going to use it. Um, Luna by Luna gloss. Got it in a boxy charm. Not going to use it. And then this Butter London glazing lip glaze is old and I'm not going to use it. So when it comes to bullet lipsticks, um, I have these that I am going to keep, these that I am not going to keep. So these are all of them, I think, except for these two I have used. I got these in a gift with purchase from Makeup Revolution at Ulta, and yeah, they're just going to go to a friend. But all the rest of these are used old. All right, this is the rest of my lip gloss. So I have the ones I'm keeping. I'm just gonna get rid of the Trustique uh, Mini Plumping Lip Balm. Just don't need that. Um, these are both old. This is a Huda Beauty Lip Strobe, and then this is the Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar. Looks like concealer lips on me, so no. This is a mini that I've barely used. It's from Urban Decay. And then this color and the Too Faced liquid, like the Comfort Lip Glaze, is too dark for me. And we have a NYX lip laundry. Okay, so we're gonna go through palettes. I just did a palette declutter probably two months ago. I don't really think I'm gonna get rid of that many, but I am gonna just go through. I'm not gonna take them all out and put them all back, but I'm just gonna page through them, see if I wanna get rid of any. So I decided to declutter these palettes. So I decluttered the BoxyCharm Pure Palette. Since I got this, I did a review on this and it's all right, but I think I have a friend or two who would like this. Get Revolution X Pride. 
palette. Kind of boring. Um, this is the Morphe 15B, the Day Slayer. I got this in a BoxyCharm, and I have the 3502 that's kind of similar, so let's stick with that. I'm also getting rid of the BH Cosmetics Stellar Collision. I did a review on this as well, but it just, it just isn't for me. I'd rather to give it to somebody who will actually use it. I'm also getting rid of the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil. These colors just did not perform well for me. You can see that in my rainbow eye makeup tutorial. I'm uh, definitely going to declutter this. This palette I haven't even touched. This was in like a free gift with purchase kind of thing from Makeup Revolution at Ulta. It's the Redemption eyeshadow palette. It's super cute, but these are all shimmer, if you can tell. They are just not my speed. Got rid of a whole stack of palettes and I'm just gonna show you everything that I am getting rid of. So this is the basket of all the things that I'm gonna give away to friends. Um, some of these things just are not old and they can be given away. So yeah, I've kinda got a lot of it, but I'm gonna have my friends kinda dig through here, see if they like anything. And I have some other palettes too. I also have these ones too that I forgot to show you. The Midnight Affair palette from BH Cosmetics. The Pretty Vulgar Nightingale palette. These two were... Eh, this one was terrible, if you remember this. The Moira UI Desire palette. Oh my god, horrible. This was terrible. I used to mention this in like my 2019 fails. Terrible palette. Do not buy this. I also have the Rude Cest Fantastique palette. I did a review on this. It's all right. I just don't use it. So there you go. And <laughs> these are all the pro uh, more products that I'm getting rid of as well. So yeah, crazy. Oh my goodness. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I am getting ready. Oh my gosh, I really like my makeup look today. I just feel really cute. But today is mine and Logan's anniversary. So we're gonna go out to dinner. I'm so excited. Home decluttering and getting rid of stuff. So I feel really good. We decluttered. We got rid of stuff that we're not gonna use. And that is just wonderful. I actually, I tried something new with the lighting and I actually really like it. So um that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe ring the bell um i can do declutters every maybe like twice a year or something like that that'd be really fun to do so yeah let me know if you'd like to see that and i will see you in my next video bye